What is a bigger challenge for you? Figuring out what you're going to work on next or figuring out when you're going to do it. Many traditional productivity apps are task management apps. They're all about the what. But lately, time management apps that are really focused on the when have become much more popular. And one such new app is AccuFlow. Let me show you how AccuFlow can help you manage your time and perhaps solve some problems that traditional task management apps haven't been able to solve for you. I'm going to be comparing these two apps on the five stages of getting stuff done, which are capturing, organizing, planning or scheduling, doing, and reviewing. Let's jump onto the Mac so I can show you what I mean. I'll capture a task both to things and to AccuFlow. For things, I'm gonna hit the keyboard shortcut control space and that brings up quick entry. Now, I'm about to go on a trip to Borneo to see some orangutans and other animals in the jungle. I'm very excited about this, so I want to read up on the animals I'm going to see on the Borneo trip. And I'll hit save. And for AccuFlow, I've chosen the keyboard shortcut option space to pull up what they're calling the command bar, and I will capture the same thing. Now you can see in AccuFlow, I've got some options. I can create this as a task or an event or as magic and AccuFlow will choose for me. I'll just hit enter and we're gonna see what happens. First of all, let's go into things. This task that I captured is by default going to live in the inbox and it will stay in the inbox until I assign it to an area or a project. If you wanna learn more about how this works in things, by the way, I've done lots of videos on this and I have a whole course on things three as well. So what I can do is I can drag this into my Borneo and orangutan trip project and that will move it out of the inbox. If I click okay, the task goes out of the inbox and now it sits in this project. How does this compare to AccuFlow? Well, if I go to AccuFlow, I see the task, it's sitting here in my inbox. For some reason, the description is here as well. I don't need that. And if I drag it onto my Borneo and orangutan trip project, it actually stays in the inbox. Why is that? In AccuFlow, a task lives in your inbox when it hasn't been assigned a date yet. So in an app like Things, the primary organizational unit is the area or the project, whereas in AccuFlow, the primary organizational unit is time. That doesn't mean that there aren't any organizational options in AccuFlow. They absolutely exist. We've got folders and we've got projects in the same way that in Things 3, we've got areas and we've got projects. However, the emphasis is just slightly different. And one way to see the difference in emphasis is that in AccuFlow, I have a folder and I can go into my Borneo and orangutan trip project, but I can't create any headings here. And I also cannot create any subtasks inside the task. If we compare that with things, in things three, I have my area and I have my project. And within the project, I can click this button and create a new heading. So I can say before the trip, and I can create another heading that says after the trip. And then I can drag these tasks, for example, under the before trip heading. Also, within a task, I can create a checklist. So I can say protein powder, chocolate bars, and whatever, right? So there's more organizational layers. By contrast, scheduling things in terms of time is much more advanced in an app like AccuFlow than it is in an app like Things 3. So let's see how scheduling in terms of time works in AccuFlow. I'll start over here with the today view, which shows me my tasks that are on my plate for today, as well as the ones that I've already completed. Each task, if you click into it, is assigned not just to a date, but you can also assign it to a time. You don't have to assign it to a time, but you can. And you can assign a duration to a task. You can also make it repeating. So for example, the task that I'm working on right now is recording this YouTube video, which I've put on my calendar from 1.30 to 3 p.m. today. And if I want to do something else today at a specific time, for example, let's say I want to discuss joining a family trip to the Ardennes, and I want to do that at 9 p.m. today, I can just drag it onto my calendar and now it's listed there at 9 p.m. And perhaps that task needs to have a duration of one hour rather than 30 minutes. In Things 3, the basic planning or scheduling workflow works like this. I go over to the anytime view in the morning and look at all the things that I still need to do, which are represented by this list. Then if I want to work on something today, such as on this task, I just hit the keyboard shortcut Command T, and then it gets added to my list of things to work on today. I can also go into the task and assign not just a scheduled date, but a deadline. So I can click right here and say, maybe the deadline for this is tomorrow. Now, if I don't get round to today, or if I don't have it scheduled at all for today, it will automatically appear on my today list for tomorrow. I can see that in the upcoming view, this is tomorrow and this task is now listed here because this is the deadline for the task. There's also a someday bucket. So if I said, you know what, I actually want to do this someday in the future, maybe what I can do is hit command S and assign it to the someday bucket. And now it will not show up anymore under the anytime view. This is the planning process in things. How does it work in AccuFlow? In AccuFlow, first of all, every morning, it's gonna ask you to do daily planning. And if you haven't gotten around to it in the morning, you can always click here and it gets you to your daily planning. It's pretty cool. 
First of all, it says, let's review yesterday's work. What did I do? Well, yesterday was a travel day for me, so I actually didn't complete too many tasks. I journaled, I left comments on a first draft of a video, and I sent my newsletter because I was mostly traveling. So as you can see, I flew from Bangkok back to Bali. That's pretty cool. Now, if you had tasks that were scheduled for yesterday that you didn't do, they're going to get rolled over to today. So I will click next to review today. And now what I'll see is, okay, this is my planning for today. Here's the list of tasks in my inbox. So again, that's the ones that haven't already been assigned to a date. Here is my plan for today my to-dos, and these are the ones that are scheduled for today but don't have a specific time on the calendar yet. And here are my tasks that are scheduled on the calendar. Now, because we're not at the start of the day, I already have a bunch of tasks done, but normally that's not gonna be the case when you do your daily planning. So what you can do is say, you know what? I would like to do this thing also today. So I'm actually gonna drag this onto my to-do list for today. And you can build your to-do list like that. You can then also schedule tasks onto your calendar. Let me just undo this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say done. So now I've planned my day. And let me show you what scheduling on the calendar is like in AccuFlow. AccuFlow connects to your Google Calendar or some other calendar account that you use. So you can use it to create events. For example, let's say I want to have from 8 to 7.30 today a dinner with friends. I can say dinner with friends. And if I add that, this will now synchronize also with the calendar app that I use. For me, I like to use the calendar app Fantastical. So if I go over there and I go to today, we're now gonna see dinner with friends on my calendar. But you'll have noticed that when I create a new to-do like this or a new thing, it asks me, do I want to create an event or a task or a time slot? Tasks, I think, are self-explanatory, and so are events, but time slots are really interesting. I can, for example, say, update bookkeeping, and then I can create subtasks. So there is a way to create subtasks in AccuFlow, kind of, and I can say, for example, forward invoices to Moneybird, which is my bookkeeping app, um, and answer bookkeeper's questions. And now what you'll see is that I have this task scheduled today from 3.30 for two hours, and there's a little lock icon here. If I, I can either choose to unlock it or to lock it. And if I lock it, this task also gets added to my calendar. So now I have a time slot with tasks inside of it. And if I go over to my calendar, this is going to appear. So this is time blocking or time boxing. Whereas if I go in here and I uncheck this lock, it will not show up on my calendar. Then it's more of a rough plan. Now, what I've done here is I've created a time slot and I've put tasks inside of it, but we can do this even better. So let me go ahead and delete this. What I can do is drag an entire project onto my calendar to time block time to work on just this particular project or area of my life. So let's say I wanna work for 90 minutes on admin stuff then I can go ahead and leave it like this. I can go into my admin list and add those same tasks, forward invoices to Moneybird. And I can say, um, respond to bookkeeper's questions. And then I can go ahead and actually drag those tasks into this slot. So this is called a time slot and it can have tasks inside of it. This is very handy because it allows you to focus, not work on one admin thing for 10 minutes and then work on a business development thing for 10 minutes and then on you know personal relationship tasks. You have. No, we can focus much more by area of our life. But again, it's very time and very calendar centric. Now let's say I'm in this time block and I'm doing stuff, I finished this, but I I don't finish everything. There's even a button to replan undone tasks. And it's like, when would you like to do them? Well, you know what? Maybe I'd like to do them tomorrow. So now the task that I didn't get round to to forward the invoices get scheduled for tomorrow. And that's not all inside AccuFlow. I showed you earlier that things has this someday list for stuff that you might get around someday. AccuFlow has that as well. So if it bothers you that tasks are going to sit in the inbox, even though you've already assigned them to a project, what you can do is say, you know what? This particular thing right here, I'm going to do it someday, but not soon. So I don't want it to sit in my inbox. I'll hit the keyboard shortcut command S. And now I can go over to all tasks and click someday. And the task sits in my someday list over here. Now, in addition to that, what we can do is we can give tasks a priority. So for example, I can say plan the next diving trip. I can click the priority sign right here and give it a high, medium, or low priority. And then I can go ahead and sort my tasks for today by priority. I find that not so helpful because I'd rather just sort them in the order that I'm going to work through it or use AccuFlow for what it's really intended for and put those tasks on my calendar. Because that's really, in the end, what AccuFlow is for. It's about managing your tasks and your events together so that you're really managing your time, not just your tasks. Now, a cool feature about AccuFlow, and you'll see that, is that this particular task over here is highlighted. That's because it's my goal for today, or one of my goals for today. You'll see here, I can say, for example, if plan the next diving trip is also one of my goals for today, I can press this button, and it just becomes highlighted. And 
this is just another way to show the priority of the tasks. So, so far, I've shown you the difference in capturing, organizing, and scheduling or planning between AkiFlow and Things3. How about getting stuff done? Well, that part, you really have to do it yourself, but if I go into Things3 and I'm on my today list, what I'll do is I'll just check things off as I get round to them, right? And in AkiFlow, it of course works the same way, except in AkiFlow, there are some things we can do to help us focus on stuff. For example, if I wanna focus on recording this particular YouTube video, I can actually go into the so-called focus mode right here. And that just brings me into this empty screen. It's not very useful right now, but if I had a description here, I could actually add some notes on how to do this task that would allow me to focus on this task without seeing any other tasks. Perhaps there's more that they could do with focus modes at some point, but hey, it's a good start. Another way that you can focus on something in AkiFlow, which is a bit more helpful, is if you've created one of these time slots. So for example, if you're gonna work on admin tasks for an hour and a half today, what you can do is you can go over here and pin that. And if you pin that, it will create this extra column over here with all the tasks that are inside this time slot. And I can, of course, add new tasks to it, like review last quarter's financials, and that will then also sit in here. By the way, you can still assign these to the admin bucket. By default, it gets assigned to it. And if I go into the admin bucket, the task will also show up there. So now we've covered the first four stages of getting stuff done, capturing, organizing, planning or scheduling and doing. But what about the fifth one, reviewing, which is also key? Well, in things, I can go into the logbook and it shows me the things that I've done so far today. And that's about it. AkiFlow has this as well. If I go over to AkiFlow and look at my today view, I can open this tab right here and see what I've done today. But in addition to that, there is, in the same way that we have daily planning, a so-called ritual that is the daily shutdown. I can get to it by clicking right here and then going to the daily shutdown. What this is, it says, hey, these were your goals for today. This is how you've spent your time today. This is based on the duration feature. This is the events that you attended today. This is what you completed. These are the things that you haven't completed and would you like to move these to tomorrow? I can say, okay, sure, and then plan tomorrow and then we'll see a planning screen for tomorrow in the same way that we have a daily planning for today. So AkiFlow is designed to be super intentional. Now that we've compared AkiFlow, a time management app with Things3, a traditional task management app, let me tell you about a few more things that I really like about AkiFlow as well as some things that they could really improve. And the first thing that I really like is if you go in your web browser, and this is my web browser, Arc, on which I've done a video, by the way, great browser. If you go to web.acuflow.com, you get a fully featured version of AkiFlow right in your browser. So you can use it on any device. I really, really like that. Another thing I like about AkiFlow is its integrations and automations. Here on the Mac, if I just go over to my profile and then click settings, I can go over to integrations and you'll see that there's a lot of native integrations over here. I've connected AkiFlow to my Google Calendar, which allows it to put tasks on my calendar and show calendar events. I've connected it to Zoom. So if I create a new meeting, which you can do from AkiFlow, it can automatically add a Zoom link to that. But there's a bunch of other integrations as well. For example, you can connect AkiFlow to Gmail and then anytime that you star or label an email, that will become a task in AkiFlow, which is a really cool workflow. You can do the same thing with Outlook email, with Slack, for so that a message can become a task or Microsoft To Do or Microsoft Teams. But you can also take a, another To Do app, like for example, ClickUp or Todoist. So let's say that your team at work forces you to use ClickUp or Todoist, but personally you'd like to use AkiFlow. You can use the Todoist integration and then anytime that there's a task in Todoist, that is set for today or really a task that is added to any project that you've enabled, that will become a task in AkiFlow as well and you can schedule it using AkiFlow. Some things have a two-way sync, some things only have a one-way sync. This is always changing, but it works really, really well. Another feature I really like about AkiFlow is that you can add links to tasks. So for example, in this particular task right here that I'm working on right now, I can add a link to web.akiflow.com or a link to a Notion page where I have notes on this particular thing that I'm working on. You can just add a new link like this and it can be a link to anything really, in addition to things that you can add in the description. Very handy because often I do have a page in Notion that's related to one of my tasks. AkiFlow also has team features. So if you go over here, you can set up a team and meet with people and share your availability with people in your team. And I won't get into those right now, but it's good to know that it isn't just a personal task management tool, but that you can also share with other people what you're working on. So what do I think AkiFlow still needs to improve? 
Autobahn? Well, first of all, there is a mobile app, but I really would like the mobile app to be more well-developed. Right now, it's not that easy to use yet, and I could see this being an obstacle for people in terms of completely relying on AkiFlow for their day-to-day -day and week-to-week -week productivity. There is also a deadlines feature in AkiFlow, but it doesn't do that much right now. For example, I have a task right here that is to prepare to record my next YouTube video, and I've set a deadline to it on Wednesday. The way to do that, by the way, is you can click this button right here, and you can set a deadline. But the deadline doesn't do anything. The only thing you can do is go into today and sort your tasks by deadline. But what I really would like to see if that there is a deadline for today, the task automatically gets added to my today list and it's really screaming at me, this has to be done today. It's great that there's a separate date for when you're gonna do something, like when are you planning to work on something and a separate date for the deadline but something has to happen with a deadline and that's not the case yet right now. And finally, there are three quality of life things that I really wanna see in AkiFlow, which is support for attachments, support for location-based reminders, and by the way, Things3 doesn't have those two either. That needs to get added to things as well. And the third one is support for more custom repetition schedules. It is possible to repeat tasks right now, but the custom repeat is not as good as it could be. For example, you still can't say, repeat this thing two weeks after I complete it rather than two weeks on a set schedule. So does the focus of an app like AkiFlow on time management as opposed to the traditional task management apps really appeal to you? Let me know in the comments below and if so, check out AkiFlow. I've linked to it in the description below the video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. See you next time. Ciao!